Hi students, I'm Abhishek from Vidyavaru and in today's session I'm going to discuss profit and loss. I'm going to teach you the smartest, shortest and simplest tricks for solving profit and loss questions. So if you like the video, please press the like button for sure, share the video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and while subscribing make sure that you press the bell icon because that's how you're going to get the notifications of all our videos. As you can see, I'm conversing in English. It's going to be a complete English medium video, especially made for our students from South India, especially made for our students from Northeast India because our students from Kerala, Telangana, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, they are well versed in English language, face some difficulty when we speak in Hindi. That's why I complete English medium video. You have to stay put till the end because with each passing question, the difficulty level is going to go up and the tricks are going to be absolutely logical without any use of X and Y, without any variables. That's a promise. Let's get started with the first question. The first question, let's uh, read it together. A man buys four candies for rupees five and sells six candies for rupees nine. We have to find out if he's making loss or profit and what is it in percentage terms. Sure. Now let's see. Four candies are being uh, purchased for rupees five. So four candies for rupees five. That is the cost. Rupees 5 is the cost price. Sure. And uh, 6 candies are being sold. 6 candies are being sold for rupees 9. That means rupees 9 is the selling price. The selling price and the cost price have to be compared in order to find out the loss and profit percentage. But the number of items, students, the number of candies is different. The number of candies is different. So let me make the number of candies equal. So 4 and 6. 4 and 6, what is the LCM? Students, the LCM of 4 and 6 is 12. So I will equate the number of candies. I will make them 12 candies. So how do I make that? I will multiply it with 3. So 12 candies will be purchased, will be purchased in rupees 15. 4 candies are being purchased for rupees 5. So 12 candies will be purchased for rupees 15. Very simple. Similarly, 6 candies are being sold for rupees 9. So 12 candies will be sold for rupees 18. Very simple students. 12 candies will be sold for rupees 18. So the cost price is 15. The selling price is 18. Cost price is 15. Selling price is 18. So a profit of how much? A profit of 3 rupees a profit of 3 rupees on a cost price of 15 whenever we calculate profit or loss students whenever we calculate profit or loss we have to think about the cost price the cost price was 15 the selling price is 18 so a profit of 3 rupees on a base of 15 so 3 by 15 that means 1 by 5 students 1 by 5 is what 1 by 5 in percentage terms is 20% so 1 by 5 that means 20% that is the profit he makes so if you like our method of teaching if you like our way of teaching make sure you call upon the numbers which are given on your screen so that you can become a part of our live online classes so that you can join our video courses by contacting our representatives now let's look at the next question let's see what it is all about all of us have uh, seen such questions. They are very frequently asked in the exam. A firm launches a buy for get one free offer. A lot of times when I discuss this question in the class and I ask them, okay, what is the discount uh, that the firm offers? When I ask my students, most of them say, a lot of them say, sir, the discount is what? It is 25%. No students, that's a common mistake. The discount is not 25%. Let me show you a very simple logical way to solve this question in a matter of seconds. So think of it like the students that he is giving you five things. He is giving you five things and he's charging you the price of four. Buy four, get one free. Na? So he is giving you five things in total. He is charging you for only four. That means one out of every five, one out of every five, he is giving you a total of five items and one out of every five is being given as a discount is being given as free. So one by five 
in percentage terms it is again 20 percent so it was not 25 percent it is 20 percent because one out of every five is given free so the discount is what the discount is 20 percent students are you getting it let's move on to the next question difficulty level will go up make sure you are there till the end let's look at this question on dishonest trader it is always there in the exam so a dishonest trader claims to sell rice at cost price he is dishonest he claims that he is selling rice at cost price but he is using a false weight of 900 grams for 1 kg he is using a false weight that is how he is earning profit we have to find out what profit he is making so students he does not give you 1 kg rice he gives you only 900 grams that means think of it like this think logically to sell you 1 kg rice to sell you 1 kg rice he does not have to purchase 1 kg rice he has to purchase only 900 grams he has to purchase he has to buy only 900 grams and he can present it he can pass it on to you as 1 kg sure so he purchases the cost price will be only for rupees 900 only for 900 grams students the cost price will only be for the 900 grams and of course 900 grams is passed on as 1 kg that means 100 gram is the profit 100 gram is the profit that he makes on every 900 grams that he purchases so the cost price will be for 900 grams the profit is for of course 100 grams so percentage to calculate percentage we multiply by 100 the zeros get the zeros get deleted and what is that 100 by 900 by 9 percent we have got our answer option b sometimes the same question in the same question they may give you the result they may give you the answer in the form of a mixed fraction so what will it be in a mixed fraction it will be 11 11 9 are 99 yes 11 1 by 9 percent so somewhat more than 11 percent that is the profit he makes sure and now let's look at the next question the last question in our discussion today the question says a dishonest trader sells wheat at 10 percent loss on cp he is selling wheat at 10 percent loss on cp but measures 25 percent less he gives you 25 percent less while selling you the same wheat find out the profit that he makes so now let's see let's say 1 kg 1 kg is what 1000 grams so 1000 grams that means 1 kg is uh, being purchased at let's say the cost price is 100 the cost price of 1 kg wheat let's say the cost price of 1 kg wheat is rupees 100 1 kg is what 1 kg is 1000 grams so 100 is our cost price sure now what happens 100 rupees is the cost price 100 rupees he is investing while selling while selling he says i am selling it at 10 percent loss so 10 percent is what students 10 percent in terms of fractions is 1 by 10 sure that means out of every 10 out of every 10 he makes a loss of 1 rupee so 10 percent loss 10 percent loss will be what students 10 after 10 percent loss he sells it at 90 1 by 10 students 1 by 10 of 100 is 1 by 10 of 100 is what 1 by 10 of 100 is 10 so that 10 rupees is the loss sure so 90 rupees is the selling price 90 rupees is the selling price but it is the selling price for what it is the selling price for 750 grams because he is measuring 25 percent less read the question carefully he is giving you 25 percent less that means he is not giving you 1000 grams he is giving you 750 grams so the cost price of 1000 grams is 100 but the selling price of 750 grams is 90 so let's find out the selling price of 1000 grams simple unitary method 
the selling price for one gram will be 90 upon 750. Similarly, if I have to find out the selling price of 1000 grams, what will it be? 90 upon 750 into 1000. 250 3s are, 254 are, 94 are, 360, 360 by 3, 120. So 120 rupees is the selling price. Students, the selling price of 1 kg is 120 rupees. The cost price of 1 kg was 100 rupees. The selling price of 1 kg is 120 rupees. He is making a profit of what? He is making a profit of 20. 20 rupees is the profit on a base of 100. The cost price was 100. So 20 rupees as profit on a base of 100. What is that students? It is again 20%. So that's the answer. So if you have liked this video, please press the like button for sure. Share the video with your friends and do not forget to dial upon the numbers which are given on your screen so that you can join us in our live classes. You can be a part of our video courses. And believe me, we provide study material as well. So that covers everything you require for wonderful preparation. Thank you so much. God bless you.